Hey there, welcome to the stretch session. We are gonna do a couple stretches that's really gonna help alleviate any back, hip, mobility pain through the lower body. This is stuff that I do throughout the week and I'm hoping that it'll add some value to your life too, so let's get started. Getting started, I want you to cross one foot in front of the other, so kind of like crisscross applesauce, go ahead and open up at the hip, one leg out. We're just gonna square the hips forward and we're gonna lean towards the front. Good. So nice exhale, we're gonna stretch a little more every time we breathe out. And I want you guys to break at the hips, hips forward. We're gonna bring it over to the right. So I'm gonna have you guys turn your chest towards that foot, towards the toe, and bring it down. It's good. So you guys can go through this routine a couple times or you can slow it down or just memorize these and do these on your own. But this is a great follow along stretch session, especially if you have tightness in those legs, the hips and the lower back, which we'll get to in a little bit here. So hang tight with me. Lean forward just a little more and we're gonna switch it over to the other side. So keep folded at the hips, bring it over in the front and out to the side, perfect. Okay, bring that weight forward, hips are square. Good. Go ahead and reach out in front of you if that's gonna help. If you're on the carpet right now, you can kind of dig your fingers into the carpet and that helps you get a little more oomph and going forward. I would try to here on the rock, but that might hurt a little bit. <laughs> okay, let's bring it over to the side. Bring it down, good. So keep those hips squared. So we're not working on crazy flexibility here unless you already have great flexibility. You're not gonna have a huge range of motion unless you are flexible already. So it's okay if you're right here. It's okay if you're here. This is your routine. Take it slow. Lean it over just a little more. Okay, go ahead and bring that back up. Okay, we're gonna have our feet out in front of us, like so. Sit up nice and tall. Let's bring the arms up overhead. Perfect. Stretch it up. We're elongating those lats, reaching the fingers up overhead. Okay, bring it down nice and slow right here. You should start to feel that stretch in the hamstrings, hamstrings and the glutes. Keep those toes pointing towards you, bring it down. Coming down to a little bit of a stretch in the calf. Good. Hang tight here, a few more seconds. Remember every exhale, reach a little more. If you guys are trying to increase your flexibility, this really is a good routine to add to the mix. So hang tight. Bring it up nice and slow. Okay, we're gonna bring it down to the mats, onto our back. So bring it down. Go ahead and bring one leg up over the other. So you're gonna cross that leg over the top of the knee on this leg that's supporting here. We're gonna bring this up. Good, so you should be in crisscross applesauce position with this leg here. Feeling the stretch on the outside of that T-band, the glute. Go ahead and pull towards the body. Good. And hold it here. Doing great. Should feel that nice stretch through the glutes outside of the leg. Go ahead and bring it even closer. Keep those hips on the ground. You don't want your booty completely rolling up off the floor. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down nice and slow. Bring this leg down, extend, back up. Bring this one over and repeat to this side. Good. And you might have to tweak and adjust your form just a little bit. We really want to feel that outside of the glute stretching. That's going to ease up some of that lower lumbar pain also. It's amazing how much tightness through the hips and the lower body we hold, especially if we're sedentary at any point in time through the week, whether that's road tripping like we do a lot of, traveling, flying by plane, sitting, being at school, anything you do creates tension and tightness. So doing things like this is really gonna help add value to your life through the week. Pull a little more, good, good. And five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down nice and slow. Remember, we're gonna extend that leg all the way out and stay on your back. So now we're gonna cross one leg over the other. So let's take our left leg Bring it up, 
and pull it over. Good. Open up the chest, keep that arm out here. Good, hold that stretch. Shoulder blade on the floor. Go ahead and bring it back up. Knee to chest. Hold for three, two, one. Back down. Repeat to the other side. Pull the leg over. Open up the chest. You might feel a little bit of a back crack there. That's okay. Good. Chest open. Keep that arm out. And hold for three, two, one. Bring that knee back up to the chest. Good. And hold. Three, two, one. Bring that down. We're going to go ahead and flip it over to our bellies. So bring it on over this way. Okay. Onto your stomach. And we're just going to stretch it up just slightly. You can keep a nice bend in the elbows here. If you want, you can start here on your forearms. That's fine. I want you to bring it up so your chest is elevated. Reach as much as you can. Relax the spine, keep it neutral. Good exhale, slow and controlled breathing. Hold here for three, two, and one. Bring it down nice and slow. Good, okay, we're gonna go ahead and sit it back up. I want you to put your legs out in front. We're gonna bring one over the other like so. So I'm crossed here. I'm gonna take my forearm against this leg. This arm is gonna go back behind me. There we go. Now stretch, you're gonna push this forearm against this folded leg, chest is up, twist, and hold, good. Feel that nice stretch through the back, also that T-band area, the glutes, the lower lumbar. Hold for three, two, one, really push that leg over, a couple more seconds, push, push, good and switch to the other side, same thing. Cross it over, chest up. Really push the elbow or that forearm into this leg as much as you can. And keep in mind, you may not have a whole lot of range of motion yet and that's totally cool. Start in somewhere, be consistent. These routines on my channel, you wanna stay consistent with them if you wanna see improvement over a handful of weeks, couple months. It takes some time, but it will definitely happen as long as you keep putting in the work. And give me three, two, and one. Okay, how are you guys feeling? A little better? Okay, I want you guys to do whatever position is comfortable for you with your lower body. For me, I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of an open hip here. I'm gonna bring my arm over. I'm gonna stretch the lats with this other one cupping underneath like so. So it's almost like they're doing the complete opposite things, both directions. Good. So this arm that's reaching, do you guys feel that stretch through the back and the lat right through here on the side? Perfect. Exhale, reach a little more. Okay, three, two, and one. Roll it forward like this. Open up that arm, good. And other side, same thing. Nice. Now if you take that palm, it's probably facing towards the ground right now. Rotate it towards me like this, good. And now up towards the ceiling or the sky, just the hair. And reach more, you're gonna feel more of that stretch in that back through the side, the lats, good. Right behind those obliques, right here. Really reach. And three, two, one, bring it back up. Go ahead and come forward. Tuck the chin under, nice. And five, four, really reach. Two, one, back up. Good, we're gonna go ahead and bring it back down to the mat. So back on the ground, right here. Okay, this time we're gonna bring this knee up. Keep this other leg flush on the floor. Good. Now bring that leg out, open up the hip just a little bit. Hang tight here. Back nice and flush on that ground. Make sure it's not coming up. Now you don't want to come over to one side or the other. You want even distribution on the back of those hips right against the floor. And hold for three, two, one, and switch. Same thing. It will help if you point your toe a little bit. 
So give that a try. Pull that knee up high, high. Okay, go ahead and open the hip. Bring it out. Good. You guys feeling good over there? Nice, slow, controlled breathing. Deep inhale. Full exhale. Good. Still use your lung capacity, even when you're cooling down or stretching. As much oxygen as we can get in the body, the better. Okay, bring it back down. Stay there. Overhead, bring those arms up and reach, really stretch. Hold here, three, two, one. We're gonna do one more of the same stretch that we did earlier with the crossover. So bring this leg up, fold it over, and this time we're gonna pull and have a little more flexibility here. We're gonna hold for 10 seconds. And eight, seven, pull close to your body. And five, four, three, two, really stretch. And one, bring it down, repeat right away. Other side, fold it over. Good, really pull that leg close to your body. Nice. You guys feel even distribution on the back of those hips. You may need to roll your weight to one side or the other to do that. Just stay mindful. And five, four, three, two, one. Okay, bring it back up. And let's go ahead and have a seat. One more, right where we started. So fold it in the front, open to the side. We're gonna lean forward and move it over. Right on the inside of that leg, good. So you might be asking, where do I feel this stretch? Right on the inside of the leg here, on the inner thigh, through the hamstring groin area underneath. So you wanna lean forward till you feel that stretch. And then here through the hip flexors, the glutes, and the outer T-band area on this leg. And again, you may need to shift your weight forward to one direction or the other a little more than me. That's fine, everybody's different. There's always that really good baseline. The baseline fundamentals is what I call them, whether it's nutrition or working out or just life in general. And then we just tweak them as we go to suit our preferences, our lifestyle, our goals. Okay, bring it back up. Other side, this is your last one. Really stretch it over to the front. Good, adjust the hips. Go towards that leg a little more and reach, nice. Awesome work, you guys, so proud of you for hanging with me. And stretching is such a huge part of the recovery process and having a fit and healthy, able body. And it's probably one of the most neglected components. So if you've been working out with me for any time now, you know that I'm a huge proponent of getting your stretch sessions in, whether it's 30 seconds here or there, or making time to actually sit down and get your stretch on with me and make time to relax those muscles that you're making work so hard with your training and sweat sessions, which I'm so proud of you if you've been consistent with me here. Go ahead and bring it up. But really, this is part of your workout, or I should say, your recovery process that should be like the dessert, or the dessert of your training session. So make sure you're making time for this stuff. I promise it will pay off. Make sure you take your time with this routine, repeat a couple times, or if you're ready to rock and roll with some other things, go ahead and find something else here on my channel. Leave a comment, let me know what you thought. I hope you guys enjoyed this little view at Red Rock Canyon. It's definitely a must if you're a traveler, and even if you're not a traveler. Someday you might really enjoy getting out here if you're in Nevada, so if you're into hiking and all that, put it on your to-do list. And that's all I've got for you guys today. Leave a comment, let me know what you thought. Make sure you are subscribed, and if you're on social media, so am I at KelseyLee.com. So come say hi. See you guys next time.